What are the best AI writing tools out there right now? I've spent hours testing dozens and dozens of different AI writing tools. Some of them are great, real time savers, and others are just terrible. So in this video, I'm going to round up what I think are the best AI writing tools and how you can use them as part of your creative writing or publishing workflow. Let's dive in. First up is ChatGPT. ChatGPT is perhaps the best known AI writing tool on the market. And that's because it's so easy to use thanks to its intuitive chat-like interface. I've used ChatGPT extensively to write headlines, to outline YouTube scripts, to create article outlines and to create content briefs. I've also used it to improve the introductions and conclusions for articles and even to figure out what topics or themes my articles were missing. ChatGPT is a real time saver. But if you want to get the best value from it then you should use the latest model i.e. pay the $20 a month for ChatGPT4. Getting good results from ChatGPT often boils down to having the right prompt. So there is a tool that can help. Enter Prompt Perfect. You can use Prompt Perfect for free and then when you're ready you can upgrade. Basically put in your one line prompt into Prompt Perfect and it will expand it to several paragraphs in length. It'll create a prompt that's more engaging and more relevant and which will get better results from ChatGPT. Once I started using Prompt Perfect, the output or results that I got from ChatGPT dramatically improved and I didn't have to spend as much time trying to perfect my prompts and telling ChatGPT to please continue. Next up is Google Bard. Now Google Bard isn't available everywhere. I'm in Ireland and I had to use a VPN to access Google Bard, but I'm still using it as part of my writing and publishing workflow. There are two reasons why. So firstly, at the time of recording this video, ChatGPT is still limited to a data set up until 2021. So everything that happened after that date is not included in the output. However, Google Bard's data set goes beyond 2021. And not only that, but it can put real time links and search results into the content that it produces. Now, unfortunately, the outputs are not always as good as ChatGPT but it can be a bit of a time saver during the research process. There is another reason why I'm using Google Bard as part of my writing and publishing workflow. Google, much like Microsoft, have said that they're going to start rolling out AI in their real-time search results. So I want to understand the types of content that's going to feature on page one in Google so I can start including that in my content. Like it or not, AI isn't going anywhere and these tools should be able to help you write and publish at scale faster. Next up is a tool which you've probably heard of, Grammarly. Grammarly is a best in class grammar and plagiarism checker. Now I've been a Grammarly customer for years and I have extensive videos about Grammarly on the channel and how you can use it to edit your content. Suffice to say, it will help you press send, submit or publish much faster. But it's also now leveraging the power of AI. So when I put my articles into Grammarly, it will review them and provide multiple suggestions and even full sentence rewrites that I can accept or reject at a click. This saves me hours during the editing process. I also use this to vet work by other writers for the sites that I run. Grammarly has also released Grammarly Go. It's a chatbot or a chat-like interface that's very similar to ChatGPT. The difference is it runs in the background on your computer or in your writing app. You can open it up at any time, ask it a question, and it will provide you suggestions for improving the tone of your writing or for supplying extra content which will improve the quality of your work. It's a real time saver if you want to start including AI as part of your writing and publishing workflow, but sometimes you forget to go over to ChatGPT. Quillbot is a comparable grammar checker to Grammarly. Now I've tested Quillbot extensively and to be honest it's not quite as good as Grammarly at catching those grammar and spelling errors but it's a small bit cheaper. However I still use Quillbot from time to time as part of my writing and editing workflow. So it has support for rewriting content. If you take a section from your article or from some AI generated content you can ask Quillbot to rewrite it and then it stands a better chance of passing AI content detector score. You can also ask it to summarize, expand or shorten a piece of content that somebody has supplied you or which you found as part of your research writing process. And Quillbot is pretty easy to use too. Now if you don't like using Quillbot there is another alternative 
which is also worth checking out. And it's free to use for rewriting content. And it's even available as a plugin for Google Chrome. Simply visit the WordTune website, plug in some content, and it will rewrite it for you at a click. Having tools that rewrite my content or content by other writers is really helpful if I want to repurpose it for emails or for social media or for different parts of my site, but I'm worried about duplicate content. Next up is Jasper. This is an AI writing tool that's suitable for small business owners, content writers, or copywriters. It's a little bit more expensive than ChatGPT, but it's been around for a few years. I even recently read a news story explaining that Jasper has a billion, yes, a billion dollar valuation. So when you take out your Jasper subscription, you can log in and access dozens of different recipes or templates. These will help you use AI to create sales pages, email sales funnels, social media copy, YouTube scripts, blog posts, articles, the list goes on. There are more templates or recipes than you'll ever need inside of Jasper. And I've used a lot of other AI tools out there and I've noticed that they've borrowed the format or how Jasper presents its recipes and templates to writers. So they must be doing something right. Now to be honest, Jasper is a good bit more expensive than the premium version of ChatGPT. So it's probably more suitable if you're earning money from content or from copywriting already. But it is a really useful tool if you're unsure about how to use ChatGPT to write copy or content that converts. So Jasper can be a little bit expensive for some small business owners, writers, or copywriters. Enter Cohesive.ai, which is a new AI writing assistant. It contains many templates which are similar to what are inside of Jasper, but arguably some of them are a little bit easier to use. I've tested Cohesive and I was reasonably happy with the results, although it did take a little bit of trial and error. But I was even more happy with the price point which came in a lot lower than Jasper. So if you want to use AI, but you can't quite afford Jasper, then consider checking out Cohesive. It's great being able to generate content at scale using AI software. But let's face it, you don't want to be accused by a client of using AI to generate content. And you also don't want to get caught out by Google if they suddenly decide to de-index sites that are full of AI content, despite what it says on Google Search Console guidelines. Enter originality.ai. It's a new AI content detector, and I've tested it extensively. Basically, you can take articles that you've produced with AI, with ChatGPT, it'll scan it and give you a percentage score. If the score is high or in the red, then you should go back and rewrite or revise that content. And if it's in the green, then chances are you're good to go. Now please use tools like this with a pinch of salt. And don't accuse your writer or copywriter of using AI without double checking the results. For example, I took an extract from the US Constitution, put it into originality.ai, and it flagged some of it up as written by artificial intelligence. However, it is a useful second line of defense as part of your writing, editing, and publishing workflow. I use it alongside Grammarly regularly. If you're serious about writing content that ranks, then you need to spend a little bit of time creating content briefs. A good content brief outlines all of the key topics or themes that an article should address. Editors love them because they save them a lot of time during the editing process, and writers also like them because they give them some constraints to work within. Now, writing content briefs used to be time consuming, but AI writing tools can help. There are a number of different tools out there that you can use as part of your briefing process. One tool that I use regularly is called ClearScope. It's suitable for small business owners, and it's not the cheapest out there, but I can use ClearScope to find relevant keywords and then to create reports. And then I can share these reports or briefs with other writers on my team. And these reports or briefs will outline all of the topics, themes, and areas that the writer should address. And it'll even give the article a score. Using ClearScope dramatically increased the amount of tra traffic I got on my site. And of course it leverages AI. Now, if you find ClearScope is a little bit expensive, there are other options out there. Phrase is a cheaper, if slightly less intuitive tool that you can also try to create your content briefs. Surfer is another popular example. It's actually built around finding relevant keywords that you can then create content optimization briefs for. I've also tested Surfer extensively and have a video of Surfer and ClearScope on the channel. Surfer has also recently released a new tool 
which will write entire articles for you using artificial intelligence. I was really surprised by how good the results were. And it even passed some of the content or AI content detector scores in originality. One tool that I've had good success with is called Koala. I've tested it extensively and have a video on the channel. But suffice to say, once you've figured out your keywords, you can put them into Koala and it can generate one or dozens of articles using AI for you. And the results tend to be a lot longer and more involved than what you'll get with ChatGPT. It's actually built on top of ChatGPT, but it's able to include results past 2021, as well as the latest real-time search results. It can even do Amazon product roundups. I was really surprised by how good the results were, both with Koala and Surfer. Both tools produced articles that only needed a minimal amount of editing to pass the scores in tools like originality.ai. They're a real time saver for me and they could be for you too. Two other tools which are also worth considering, now I don't use these as much, are Pseudowrite and Writer. You can use both of these tools to write email responses using AI, to create blog post outlines and even to produce articles. I did like both of these tools, but to be honest, I found myself gravitating more towards tools like Surfer and also Koala and of course ChatGPT. As you can see, this is just a selection of the AI tools that are out there. I'm using ChatGPT the most alongside Grammarly Go and Koala. And I still use content optimization tools like ClearScope, which leverage the power of artificial intelligence. There are many more AI tools out there which I haven't had time to cover in this video. Tools like Article Forge. If you'd like me to cover more of these tools or one in detail, let me know in the comment section below this video and I'll record a review. What are your favorite AI writing tools? Let me know. And if you want to get more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe.